I heard you say you was you and Verb could even did it. What's up with you and Verb? Yeah, that marshmallow head ass nigga. <laughs> yeah. I like I like I like the him and twerk battle. Mm, let's talk about it. <coughs> him and twerk battle <coughs> was fire. And I and I hit Verb like yo, tag the bottle. <coughs> I hit Verb, I'm like, yo, niggas is watching. You know what I'm saying? You gotta show up. Don't let this young boy kill you, cause that young boy vicious. Mm -hmm. Twerk is vicious. Twerk is vicious cause twerk got presence. Mm. You know what I mean? That that's that's that that's a lot in battle rap. Fact. To have Fact. presence. It's Energy is something different. It's everything. You know what I'm saying? The bars, everybody nice, everybody rap, everybody can say a punchline. But your presence is everything. You know what I'm saying? Your son got presence. So I told Verb, listen, you gotta show up or your son gonna walk all over you. Verb showed up. I mean, that was kind of, that was, that was one of the best verbs I've seen in a long time. Yeah, Verb did his thing, man. Verb did his motherfucking thing. You know what I mean? What I, you? I don't know, I don't know if he did enough to win, but I heard he did some shit where yeah. I heard Twerk was uh, stealing balls or some shit like that. I, I don't know. I ain't into that lane. I just know Calico and Twerk had a couple few words or whatever and all that or something. What you think about Twerk one. pulling the hoodie off? I, no comment. He felt he had to do that. No, I don't think he got to do that. Twerk got presence, like I said. When you got presence, man, presence is everything in battle rap. Niggas to be witty, niggas to have rebuttals, niggas to have all that, you know what I mean? But you got presence, that shit just, it leaves a mark on people. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying, boy? It's even the nigga you battling, you know what I mean? When he lead a battle, he like, damn, son, I, I, I got to tighten up, or I got to... My presentation just gotta be a whole lot better because I, I felt like I lost that night. Even though niggas might have said a nigga won, nigga might go home feeling like a loser just because a nigga was just on his helmet. Mm. Heavy. Facts. You know so, like, I mean, I don't know. Would we see a Head Ice versus New Jersey twerk? That's possible. He won't, he won't talk that. It won't be like how you. It won't be like how he did JC. JC, right? JC, yo! That was nasty. But, that, but I always said, I always said that if I was the back with a nigga like yo. JC, conceited them niggas, them little, them little, them little five one niggas, them four nine five one niggas, it, it'd be ugly, B. And 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 that was a pure example of what the fuck I'm talking about. He was all over that young nigga. Oh my god. It looked like he could have picked yeah. him up though, yeah, kid. He, he did it. He did him dirty, man. And JC, my nigga, Pontiac. Shout out to JC. JC, no, I got nothing but love for him, man. <laughs> but yeah, that was crazy. That was ugly. So you would think you a 3 0 twerk, man? I mean, I'm a 3 0 everybody. Mm. I'm gonna just give him his lessons, though. Because he witty, too. Little nigga be saying some shit. Twerk, what up? Shout to him. Never met him, but I seen him. I seen him give, give love to my, my young beloved, Loaded Lux. So niggas show love to beloved. <laughs> yeah, fish it, nigga. I fuck with Turk, Turk my God, or Turk yeah, my yeah. God. Jersey, right? Jersey. Absolutely. Jersey. <laughs> nah, that's what's up. Shout out to Twerk, man. You definitely did your thing against A Verb. No, A Verb died so many times. This <laughs> nigga got way more than nine lives. <laughs> that's one vicious cat. What oh, vicious cat? Heathcliff! That nigga's Heathcliff. <laughs> What you think about the old Red and Cortez battle? That's another dope battle. Shout out to old Red too. Red was in his back. I mean, Cortez. See, see the thing with Cortez is, how could I say this without sounding crazy? Cortez is nice, but it just is not believable. You know what I'm mm. saying? Mm. You my nigga, Flea. You know I fuck with you all the way. I'm the one who blew the breath in you. I gave you that gift, Flea. But I was drunk when you when you look. You looked a good loser, Flea. But I was saucy. And the real niggas know. They like, we can't fuck with Ice on his best day. You know, Ice was saucy. Even Red Man said that Ice was a little warm off the night, but you did good. You know, I was saucy. I mean, he looking good, going against the best. When you're going against the best and you say some fly shit, everything's fire. It's when you're going against the best. So you look like that shit. But at the end of the day, you wasn't talking too much about nothing. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and it just shows, you know what I mean? You nice, but it just, it's not believable, my nigga. And I don't want to take nothing from you, but it just, 
that's just that black cloud that's on you, my nigga. You ain't gonna be able to shake that your whole career. I don't, I don't care if niggas meet you at the bodega or not. It's not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Call. Shout to Call. I fuck with Call. But even after he lose, you know when Cortez lose, he always go on a rambling spree talking to all types of social media niggas and say all kind of crazy shit. And he be having his niggas with him, like clips of them niggas. <laughs> Niggas crazy. Shouts to Clips too. But you a funny nigga, Clips. Because when I battled Cortez, you was on that nigga's side. Mm. You was standing on the Brooklyn side with math for them niggas. I get it. I get it. You had slippers on. I get it. But you was on that side. You wasn't on the Harlem side. Then even after the battle when Cortez lost, you went in Cortez hotel room and y'all niggas breaking down shit with gyms and all that. You know, shouts to goods. <laughs> all of them. Look, yeah. Oh, yeah. Shit. Hey, look. Don't be playing with you niggas like that, man. I don't trust you, nigga. <laughs> Wolf love, though, you heard? From the heart, nigga. All of them. All of them. Creep ass, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> What's the next question? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we see Ice with the Wood clothing. Let's talk about it, can oh, yeah. we please? You know, man. Love family, man. Uh huh, uh huh. The greatest fabrics that's out here right now. Everybody wearing it. K Slate, Fifty, you name it. Stevie J, Jaquay, you name it. Everybody got that shit. <clears throat> we only love family. Store location is 132nd and 8th Avenue. That's Frederick Douglass Boulevard for y'all. We don't know about 8th Avenue if you're not from Harlem. Frederick Douglass Boulevard, 131st. 8th Avenue, 132nd Street, pardon me, 8th Avenue. Mm -hmm. You can also go online to kotd.tv.com and get the Wolf Love clothing, you know what I'm saying? Or the We Only Love Family, you know, regular shit, man. We out here, man, we global. We global. Huh? I could get this New York cheese and then not to worry about the Canadian money. Oh. We get that We get that when we get to it. Mm. Man, we just go oh, and throw that in the PayPal. Mm, throw that in the PayPal. I holler at it when I holler at it. Yeah. We outside. <laughs> you see the two KO, KOTD yeah. chains, man. It with the gel over there. Mm. be talking this little Caucasian shit. The crackers did, the crackers that. The cracker niggas is more black than some of the black niggas. <laughs> Crazy yeah. out there. You got a charge of ice? It's hood in Canada. Don't get it twisted. I got you, man. It's hood in Canada. What's the illest story, man? In Canada? That you, that, this is the illest shit you saw, man. Something that you've been through since you've been out there, man. It's six. Shit. Shit, it's six. A crazy story from the six. I ain't gonna mention no names. But, uh... Nah, that's a wild story. 